Upon the meeting of Sylvia Plath and Ted Hughes, which sparked one of the most exhilarating, fast-paced relationships within the literary world, had fully encompassed the dreamer and Hughes into a marriage not long after. The feedback loop mentioned within Sarah Churchwell's Secrets and Lies, Plath, Privacy, Publication, and Ted Hughes's Birthday Letters is, quite frankly, the same ideal that attracted both the dreamer and the lover together, and thereafter followed them through their relationship. Unknowingly, the foreshadowing of Sylvia Plath's own star-crossed love, written by her own muse, Shakespeare, was to be the same fate that resulted in the mishap of her own marriage. Churchill's remarks on the ideology of a feedback loop that is presented within both the works of Plath and Hughes stands for solid grounds as both of the texts, Ariel, the restored edition, and birthday letters, as they are constructed within a reflective and reminiscent account of poetry and a criticism of prior events from each perspective. Not only is Hughes's birthday letters a responsive text to his late wife, but is also one for, as Churchill has mentioned, a response to the many audiences that have stood by the cultural disputes over public and private, celebrity and gender. Through the suggestion that Hughes's birthday letters is a responsive text to Plath's poem, A Secret, it is clear to see the feedback and response that is communicated through their works. For instance, within Plath's Secrets, she describes Hughes to be blue and huge, drawing upon similarity to a policeman, whereby which remarks on this within his own work to also draw on the blue imagery of the policeman, stating that blue suit, a mad execution uniform. The references made to the blue imagery within both of Plath and Hughes's works insinuates the duration of Plath's depression, reflecting the period of severe blues that she endured in response to Hughes's actions, being the events leading to and after the cease of their relationship. The reference to an execution uniform by Hughes serves as an indication to himself, as he was once, as he was one driving factor that led Plath to her own demise, and as Hughes has had the time to reflect on such behaviours, giving time to heal, justify, and find clarity within himself, the ability to recognise his own mistakes, um, encourage the publication of birthday letters that would express sorrow and regrets, and pay contribution to his ex-lover. Within said poem, The Secret, Plath employs graphical images through references um, to extra amber and brandy pigmentations, positioning audiences to envision the start of an eruption of anger and outburst. The aggravation expressed by Plath as a sentiment to her ex-lover, whom she was keeping such secrets from her, feeling as a knife that can't be taken out, is juxtaposed with Hughes's response to such feeling. As he writes, um, but red was what was wrapped around you, blood red. One is correct in stating that Hughes's rebuke to Plath's words against him provides commentary on the finality of Plath's life, whilst also stating that the sole perpetrator that ended both the relationship of the two poets and the life of Plath was Plath herself through her depression and actions. Furthermore, as Hughes describes Plath's drowning life as one where she was at a constant effort to save herself, treading water and dancing the dark turmoil, it is easily said that the feedback loop expressed within Churchill's Secrets and Lies is correct in stating that Hughes's, uh, Hughes's publication of Birthday Letters was his ability to express his long-withheld, countering version of their story. The implication that he had until then been the passive victim of Plath's prior version is equally dubious. Not only is the feedback loop impacts of love, including the sacrifices and emotional tolls that it takes on someone, it proposes the reader to question whether the acts of Plath were in proportion to the certain circumstances inflicted on her by the behaviour of the male lover. The publicity of the poems can also be scrutinised as it can... Um, presents suicide to be a solution to those suffering from heartbreak, particularly to young readers of those who have endured similar situations. Aspects of Hughes's poem can depict him to be an insensitive male because he defends his unjust actions that could have prevented the situation from ever occurring. Furthermore, these poems are effective in presenting the importance of honesty and transparency in relationships and the duty that one attains to their significant other when they make the conscious commitment to the individual. Thank you.